Hello again. I am unable to decide sometimes whether those who regularly deny that there is or could possibly be any connection at all with immigration and the shortage of affordable accommodation in this country are mad, wicked or just monumentally stupid. Nobody would claim, of course, that immigration is the only factor in the housing crisis. But that it is one of the factors seems to me to be so clear that I am baffled that anybody would dispute it. Let me try and set the case out in the simplest possible terms. I shall do so by using algebra. Please don't panic, this is not going to entail solving quadratic equations or anything of that kind. One of the many things I am not an expert in is mathematics. I say that so often, and the list of subjects about which I know very little is so long and extensive that I fear that some viewers may long ago have concluded that I must be a complete dunderhead. This may of course be so, but I prefer to think of myself as a man on the Clapham omnibus. You know that legal fiction, the reasonable man. Anyway, let's try out a little algebra and see where it gets us. As some of you may have seen yesterday, the government, using Circo and Clearspring as their cat's paws, have managed to acquire a portfolio of 16,000 privately rented properties, which they're going to use to house asylum seekers. In the description to this video, I give a link to a news item about this, and there seems to be no doubt at all that it is so. The idea is to move asylum seekers out of hotels and into ordinary streets of houses. The point is very simple and clear. We know that there is a shortage of rented accommodation at a price that the average person can afford. This is particularly acute with young people who have lower incomes and are often priced out of the rental market. Now I don't know, and neither does anybody else, how many rented properties are currently on the market in Britain, but for our purposes it doesn't really matter if there are a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand or a million. There are simply not enough for all the people who need or want one. Since we don't know the number, let's call it X. This is where the algebra comes in, you see. There are X properties in the country available to rent. If we take 16,000 of these properties and give them to foreigners who have just turned up here, then instead of X properties available to rent, there will be X minus 16,000. I hope that that is perfectly clear. It remains only for us to consider the question, which of these figures is greater, x or x minus 16,000? Take your time over this because it's quite important. I'm guessing that most viewers, even the mathematically illiterate, would have come to the conclusion that x is greater than x minus 16,000. The only possible conclusion then can only be that illegal immigration or asylum seeking, call it what you will, has contributed to the shortage of rented accommodation in this country because instead of X properties there are now X minus 16,000 properties to rent. I would be enormously interested to see if anybody can show that this is a mistaken conclusion. 